Clay County has a new top cop. Michelle Cook brings years of experience as a JSO officer and Atlantic Beach Police Chief to the Clay County Sheriff's Office. Cook defeated suspended Sheriff Daryl Daniels in the primary last night. Daniels was arrested last week following an FDLE investigation. Cook is a Clay County native and says from the moment she pins on the badge, she wants to rebuild trust in the department. Cook was on the morning show after her victory. Transparency is just how you have to operate, uh, especially in today's world. Uh, the, the community has a right to know what's going on in the law enforcement uh, department that serves them. And, you know, for me, I'm an open book. Uh, I, I absolutely believe in transparency. I think that's how you earn trust. You know, for I, you know, I tell people a lot of times it is what it is, uh, and, and we can work through it, and, and transparency is just um, an everyday philosophy. So a big question on the minds of parents tonight in Clay County is the safety of their students following the election of a new sheriff and school superintendent. You may recall a strained relationship between former Sheriff Daryl Daniels and former school superintendent Addison Davis. Well, that led to the creation of the Clay School Police Department. Tonight we're finding out if that school police department will stay intact. A public feud between former Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels and former Clay County School Superintendent Addison Davis led to the creation of Clay County School Police last spring, a police agency led by Chief Kenneth Wagner, a former law enforcement officer with more than 20 years experience. According to a school spokesperson for Wagner and likely elected school superintendent David Broski, there are no immediate changes to school security as of today. Adding Superintendent Broski is expected to form a relationship with newly elected Clay County Sheriff Michelle Cook and School Board Police Chief Kenneth Wagner. Before being elected, Broski told News for Jax he supports the Clay County Police Department, which consists of more than 40 officers. They act as a deterrent in front of schools. They're a visible symbol to everybody that you need not come there because uh, police are going to protect that school. In addition, we actually arrest people and bring them to jail in those vehicles. There have been some high profile cases where the district's police department has responded, like a scare last September at an Oakley football game where a practical joke contributed to panic that there may have been a shooting. Broski told us that he sees the true value in having school campus police. We had a, an issue that happened earlier on in the year where uh, a student out in Argyle uh, had come up missing and parents had reported it. Uh, we dispatched 19 Clay County school police officers to search for the individual, as well as working with Clay County Sheriff's Office, and uh, we're blessed that that individual was found. 